Well, good morning there. We are back at the RV-12 hangar. Part two of the fuel pump fiasco of 2022. Fuel pump assembly, fresh back from Lockwood Aviation. Two new fuel pumps, same assembly. These pumps have serial number that begins with 2-1, so we know that they are recent and not within the affected range. So let's set up the camera here and get right to it. So I want to take you down this uh, false path just for a moment to show you what you're going to encounter if you try and install these pumps, um, ex you know, the reverse of how you removed them. It doesn't work. It's almost impossible to get those two hose clamps wrapped around those pump assemblies there. Uh, do not waste your time with this. The correct way to do this is to remove the six AN525 screws from the bulkhead. So as you can see here, I am fastening these hose clamps around the pumps themselves. And to fasten both of these clamps, it takes, what, maybe 30 seconds. So you'll definitely make out if you spend the extra time to remove those six screws to remove the entire assembly. In a moment here, you'll see me work on the AN fitting, uh, which is going to be connected to the output of this pump that you see right here. Um, just remember that these AN fittings are a lot to me, um, but don't overdo it because you can break the, the flanges or the flared ends off of these tubes. And lastly, I thought you guys would want to see me struggle to get the whole assembly mounted back on the bulkhead. There are two clips at the top of the assembly, which have to go into these little mounting brackets. Um, while you're doing that, you also want to make sure that your tubes are lining up to the input and the output of your assembly. You can do it! Once you get one screw in place just to hold that whole assembly against the bulkhead, you're in business. So what I'd like to do is just make these fittings just finger tight, but before I start cranking down on them, I want to make sure I go ahead and reconnect all of the electrical connectors. My fear is that I get so focused on cranking down on those, those AN fittings and torquing them just right <laughs> that I completely forget about the electrical. So you can see I've reattached the fuel pressure sender I'm hunting around for fuel pump number two. That's You can see that real easily from my position there. And then for fuel pump number one, I kind of have to feel around for that connector and locate the connector before I make an attempt to, to reconnect that one. Yep, there it is. And click. There we go. Now we can pr proceed to crank down on these AN fittings. Remember, you always want to have two wrenches involved so you don't uh, torque something and twist the fuel pump assembly at the same time. So you guys saw that technique in the previous video. I'm not going to go through that again here. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure you finish up by uh, fastening those six AN525 bolts on the bulkhead. Now turn it on again. Overage traffic, experimental departing, 06, closed traffic, overage. Nice weather, my man. Say again? Robert, nice weather. Yep. What happened with YouTube? It's back up now. Fine.
I was on vacation. Oh, I want to have a nice During this flight, my eyeballs were glued to that fuel pressure. I wasn't sure if there would be a leak in the back or maybe the pumps would fail. Traffic experimental turn base zero six old bridge. Over traffic experimental turning final zero six old bridge. 